Okay, hello everybody, Stuart McAdam here, and we've received a ton of questions from you about all sorts of things. So in today's podcast, it's going to be rapid fire questions. Let's get straight into it. Number one, what is the best website building platform for business? Well, I'll give you three answers. If you're looking for something simple and basic, go for Wix. If you're wanting something medium to advanced, then WordPress. If you're an e-commerce shop, I say Shopify. Number two, what are the best advertising platforms to build and grow a business? Well, I would be a little biased in answering this, but Google, YouTube, and Facebook ads are the places to be. Number three, who would you recommend for CRM systems? I would say HubSpot. Who would you recommend for project management? Well, Asana is is quite a, a good one if you are looking for something simple and easy to use. If you want something more advanced and technical, then go for a platform like Jira. Who are your favorite um, marketers on YouTube? Ooh, good question. I really enjoy AC Hampton. Uh, Ben Heath is really good too. And there's also uh, my two friends, Corey Hind and Stuart Gould, whose videos I listen to all the time as well. Who is the most overrated marketer on YouTube? Ooh, that's a bit of a rough question, but if I was to give an answer, I'd probably identify two names, mainly because I haven't really learned anything from watching the videos. One is Dan Locke, and the second one is Jordan Platten. What is the best marketing communication software? Uh, Probably Slack. Uh, I have heard of a couple of other ones, uh, but Slack tends to be the best one. What is the best time tracking software that have you you have used uh, for making sure you track business performance? Uh, there's two. Uh, Hubstuff is one of them. Uh, Harvest is another one. They're probably the two um, most streamlined ones. So definitely check those out. And they also integrate quite nicely into uh, some of the different project management softwares. Who who do you see emerging as a strong voice in digital marketing? I don't know. What platform is underrated for advertising and marketing on in 2023? Well, I've recently done some Bing ads or with a client about, you know, falls under Microsoft ads. So I would say Microsoft ads. What is the hardest part about being a digital marketer? Keeping up with all the changes. That's the hardest part. Even if you're on the platform all the time, it changes sometimes without notice. So keeping up to date with those changes is is definitely the hardest part. All right, I'll leave it there. If you've got any more questions, leave a comment down below and I'll do a part two if there are enough questions. Have a wonderful day, everyone.